In this video, we're gonna show you how to replace the driver's side front door weather stripping on your Jeep Grand Cherokee located around the door sill. I'm gonna start by removing our door sill plate here. We're gonna use a plastic trim tool, get underneath, and you wanna go ahead and pull this up. And then get your fingers underneath and give it a tug. We're just connecting the metal spring clips. Go ahead and set that aside. Remove the driver side front kick panel here. If you follow the trim down, there are gonna be three Phillips head screws right down in here. Use your Phillips head screwdriver, loosen and remove those screws. And once you have those screws removed, you can reach up on the front side here and pull this out. You're gonna remove some more spring clips, pop this out around the hood release handle. And then we'll come back here and we're gonna work back the other way, lifting this up. And you can swing that out, set that aside. Remove your A-pillar. We're gonna start by removing the grab handle here. You're gonna use a little pocket flathead screwdriver. And there are two plugs. One here, and there's one down below. Remove those. Now on the inside, we're gonna use a 7 30 seconds deep socket on our quarter inch to go ahead and loosen and remove the two screws here. Pull that A-pillar off. Now the driver's side seat positioned all the way forward, we wanna go ahead and start by disassembling our seat belt assembly here. We wanna pop off this cover. You're gonna grab the bottom portion of this, pull it out, and on the top, there's just a little clip in there. So you're gonna push down, lift this up, and pop that out. So we just disconnected our little locking tab here. Go ahead and set that aside. We're gonna use our T50, so that's a T50, Torx bit with our half inch drive ratchet. I'm gonna loosen this bolt. You have to remove that. If you follow your seatbelt down, there's another T50 Torx bit bolt down here. Loosen and remove that. I'm gonna use my pocket screwdriver and we're gonna pop out this little trim panel right here. And that's going to expose a Phillips head screw in there. I wanna try and pop this panel out a little bit. Remove that screw. Let me just pull that forward enough. I wanna go ahead and pull this upper B-pillar panel. We're gonna use our trim tool 
and go behind the weather strip here and just pop that out. Now, if you follow your lower B panel or B pillar down and around, right at the tail end of it, you're gonna find a Phillips head screw. Loosen and remove that. And once you get that screw out, you should be able to pop up that panel and just pull that aside a little bit. Now in the center section here, we have a split for the gasket, the beginning and the end. Go ahead, grab that and start to pull this off of the vehicle. Work away around the perimeter. Before we install a new weather strip, I want to go ahead and clean up the pinch weld around the perimeter here, all the way around. So you can use a spray solvent, you can use um, any type of cleaning agent you have there. Clean this up. We want this to make the best seal possible to prevent water from leaking in around the perimeter. Now here's a side profile of our weather stripping. You want to make sure that this bulb side that compresses is facing outward towards the door. That way that when the door closes on it, it compresses and seals that up. The notch right here that has the little teeth in it presses onto the pinch weld. And then the side here overlaps to the inside of the vehicle. So what we're going to do is we're going to start right in the middle here where the factory one was. I'm going to press that on. And you're just simply going to work your way around getting this pressed on to the pinch weld and press it down into place. You can see as I'm working this up, you want to go back and give this a few taps, make sure that it's fully seated. Work its way right around the corners and up and around. You're going to continue this process all the way around the door. Now coming to the end here, and you can see that the weather stripping overlaps a bit. Now what you wanna to do to start with here, you wanna go ahead and use a mallet. And what I like to do is kinda of go all the way around, make sure that this is fully seated, especially in the corners, tap it into the corners, work your way all the way around the perimeter. Go ahead and get this lined up here. Tap that into place. Now you never want to cut this flush because what's gonna happen is over time, the weather stripping may shrink a little bit and you wanna make sure that there isn't a gap like there was when we initially removed the original one. So you wanna give roughly about a quarter of an inch or so overlap. I'm gonna go ahead and start to cut this seal here. I'm just using a razor blade. Now there is a small piece of wire in here. I'm gonna transition over to a pair of cutters. Snip that. Now at this point here, you still see that's overlapping a bit. What we're gonna do is fold the seal back. We're gonna curl, curl it up, line that up, tap this in, and then tap it in on the back side. That creates a nice tight seal this point here, we can go ahead and start to install our trim. 
going to hook up everything back in reverse as the way we removed it. Bring our lower B panel over, line up that screw, and we can line up our trim. Get that Phillips head screw lined up. I'm gonna line that up and push it down into place and we'll snug that screw. Don't wanna over tighten it because it's just plastic, but you do wanna make sure that it is snug. We're gonna install our upper B pillar trim here and on the back side, there's gonna be a little tab here that fits into the upper steel shell up here on the, on the body. And on the bottom side, there's gonna be a little metal clip here that snaps down inside. So go ahead and fit this down and in. Push that up and in. Once this is fully seated up into the top, that bottom just snaps right into place. With that top snapped into place, you can line up our lower B pillar here. Now I wanna work both sides of this lower panel into place. Now that we have this popped into place, we're just gonna visually double check the other side, make sure that that is wrapped around the weather strip in the way it should be. And then we can install our screw right here in the top center. I'll install our screw right here. Snug that into place. Install our trim bezel here. A little tab on the top fits into the screw hole there. I'm gonna install our upper seatbelt bracket here. Go ahead and snug that down. I'm gonna install the lower portion of our seatbelt. Good and torque down our Torx bolts to 27 foot pounds. Do the same for the upper. Install our cover here. Let's go ahead and install our lower kick panel. Feed that in and around our hood release handle. Once we have that pressed into place, let's install our three Phillips head screws along the bottom there. I'm gonna make sure I can get all three of these started before I tighten anything down. Yeah, pretty much once you have one of these lined up and screws going in, then you should be all set. But it's just a good practice to do that. Now with all three of them started in a few threads, we can come on back and snug those down. I'm 
go ahead and tuck our carpet down. Install your step plate here. There's an arch right here, about two thirds of the way down. That goes right here. So go ahead and line this up. Install our little metal retaining clips. We're going to install our A-pillar. Want to make sure that these tabs fit inside the windshield frame here. Snap that in. Then I'm going to take one of the screws here and I'm going to put it on my socket. I'm going to go ahead and get that started. Once I have that screw on a few threads, I'm gonna go ahead and install the other one. I like to thread these in as far as I can by hand and I'll come on back and snug it down with the ratchet. Once that bottom's out, about a quarter turn, do the same here. Once that bottom's out, quarter turn. Go ahead and install the buttons. And you're all set. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.